Good morning. June 20th, first off. Happy West Virginia Day. Yes, eight, June 20th, 1863. We became a state. But that's not what this video is about. <clears throat> See, June 20th also has a whole different meaning for me. Um, 2012 on June 20th, I'm seeing UPMC Hospital in Pittsburgh. And I'm in there for cancer surgery. Now, the good news is the reason I'm doing the video today, I'm 10 years cancer free. But that's not the whole story. Let me tell you my cancer story and all the amazing things that happened. We'll rewind back to 2012 for a while. First off, it was either March or April of that year. I was on spring break. I'm a teacher, spring break from school. And I had what we thought was a blood sugar attack. Yeah, I was sleeping 16 to 18 hours every single day that week. Went to the emergency room and they didn't find anything. They assumed it was blood sugar attack also. So, came back home, but a lady named Susie Carr, she was a nurse practitioner at the office I went to, wasn't convinced. So she started bringing more and more tests. And then one morning I get a phone call from her office, say I had a mass on my kidney. I want to come in and talk about it. So I'm thinking, huh, no, I mean, I didn't even know what that meant at that time. So I said, no, no, I'm fine. Um, I was married at the time. Um, and I was talked into going to the, back into the office. So I went into the office and come to find out, not only do I have a mass on my kidney, but my pancreas is enlarged. It's kind of scary. So we end up going to Pittsburgh. Well, the good news first, the pancreas being enlarged was a result of the tumor in the kidney. The tumor in the kidney was a golf ball in size, but they felt like surgery would take care of it. So we scheduled surgery for June 20th, 2012. A few weeks later, I get a phone call from Dr. Cause Dr. Davies is the guy, doctor is going to do my, was going to do my surgery. Excellent doctor. Get a phone call from his office saying, um, we need to reschedule your surgery. And I'm like, uh, no, I want to do it June 20th. Very persistent on that one. So about 34 hours later, I get a phone call back from them and said, yeah, we'll still do it June 20th. So surgery's on for June 20th. And I'm thinking, hey, I have two kidneys. I can spare one. Well, my pastor overheard me saying that. He says, why are you willing to give the enemy something that doesn't belong to him? So I changed my prayer. I started praying I'd keep both kidneys. Now, one of the other things that Dr. Davies asked me while I was in his office was also, he said, how did you find out about this so soon? Usually you don't find out about the kidney cancer until it's already you know, progressed. And I, I told him. So that was another amazing part. So yes, I'm praying for both kidneys to remain. It was a miraculous that we found, found it early. So I go in there and on June 20th, I go out. <laughs> um, when I awoke, I must have asked the nurse 17 times, do I still have two kidneys? And she kept saying yes. She was very, very patient with me because I was still so far out of it. But the next morning, Dr. Davies came in and talked to me about it. 
And he said, yeah, he said in his exact words, the tumor popped right off the kidney. Now, let me explain this slow growing type of cancer I had. And that's what they told me, it was slow growing. It had progressed from a golf ball in size to a softball in size tumor. I had a softball sized tumor on my kidney that popped right off. So not only am I standing here today, cancer free 10 years later, I'm also standing here cancer free 10 years later with two kidneys. Definitely amazing, definitely miraculous. And I just wanted to share the story with you. Um, one of the things I want to tell people who watches this video is you don't, the only way you lose is if you give up. And I'm telling you, just don't give up. Just don't give up. I'm living proof of it. So I thank you for listening to this story. I know it's a little different than what I normally do on my travel channel. But I just felt like on the anniversary of this, 10 years. I mean, I'm excited. I'm happy. 10 years cancer free. And I wanted to share it with you guys. So thank you for listening to my story.